all sports, nothing but sports. I'm joined by two sports analysts, Danny Martinez. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's football. <laughs> yes, it's sir. Football it's football season. Football season I baby. mean, I know this is your, you know, your, your thing. You guys <laughs> play football and everything. This, this is you guys right here. Yeah. Let's talk about the NFL. Season's coming up. Which team would be the biggest competition for the Patriots and the NFL this upcoming season? First of all, let me start off by saying we can finally talk about the Patriots again yes. in New England. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big relief. Yes, I haven't talked about them in a couple of months. But um, I think when you're looking at this upcoming season and you're talking about who's going to be the biggest competition for the Patriots, I think you got to look at our friends in Indianapolis, in the Indian, yes, and it's got to be the Colts. Yeah. It's got to be the Colts. I mean, you're talking about two of the best uh, quarterbacks to ever play the game. Yeah. Um, talking about solid defense now in Indiana, and you got a solid defense here, running threat, offensive lines, defensive line. You got it across the board. They're studied, and I think that they're the ones who give each other the biggest matchup problems in the NFL. Gary? You know what? He's right because the Colts' defense does something to our big offense. Mm -hmm. We're a big offense. I can move. Yep. We're very athletic, but we're a big team. Yeah. They're small and they're fast. Yeah. They got Freeney, you know, they got Reggie Wayne, Harrison, Sanders. Adai, Bob Sanders. Um, that kid Gonzalez from Ohio State, rookie who did really well. Oh, yeah. He is quick. Fast. He is quick. Let me tell you right now. Gonzalez kills me in yeah. Madden. <laughs> yeah. He does. He kills me in Madden. He, does. he really yeah, does. He does. He does. But he does. They you gotta are have, just you gotta so have some. fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing, especially when they're, they're at home, I, uh, we're getting a rematch of last year's undefeated. Yep. What were they, 7 0 7 and at the yep, time? Yep. We're getting another rematch in Indianapolis, and I'm talking about when they're on that turf. They are just they look good. fast. Oh, yeah. They look good. It's, it's a track just, meet. It's a track meet. Uh, and, and, and Peyton Manning and that offense could give uh, could expose the only real hole that we have on our defense, which is the secondary. secondary. And that's what scares me a little bit. But John Lynch is going to lay some wood down. Yeah, he's going to knock some heads off. I think we'll pick it up. <laughs> I don't know. These, these, the safety the Patriots have, they're fantastic. I mean, Rodney yeah. Harrison, John Lynch. But you got to think, Brandon Mary Mer 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 is the only young guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. not Sanders, but... I mean, when you're depending on Harrison and Lynch, I mean, they're, they're fantastic players, but they're going to slow down eventually. I don't see, I don't see, but I don't think this is the season Lynch slows down. I don't think so at all. I mean, this is a guy who's been performing at a Pro Bowl level for years. Mm -hmm. We'll continue to, and on top of that, you're kind of giving a facelift and a, and you're recharging his career by bringing him to a team that could actually compete for a championship, which he hasn't had for a while. So you give a veteran who's that good that re that that realization in his career that he might win a championship is going to put a little pep in your step. I think this though, the Colts are a fantastic team. Plus, you know, with Freeney coming back, I think if Freeney was there yeah. last season. It, it would have been, been a different game. It would have been a different game against the Chargers, and they would have been the Avery Championship game. Mm -hmm. But I think this, the Jaguars, the Jacksonville Jaguars also scared because they have a good defensive line. And no, what listen. happened? What happened last no. time they faced a good defensive listen. line? They lost the only game of the season against the Giants. Name me their defensive line. Name, yeah. Give me a star. I'm talking about this. Here's the point. <laughs> They're tough They're as scared. a unit. Listen, they don't scare me. They don't scare me. They don't scare me. They don't scare me. I know. Nate, listen. But collectively as a whole, they scare me. This is like the offensive listen. line. Listen. No, they don't. Most, Where most is their offense? When you play the Patriots, you got to put up points. I doesn't bet. matter how good your defense if is. You score, you're you gotta put up points because you gotta put up Because when you look at the AFC divisional round in Foxborough, Massachusetts, yes. you have to think. 20 points, you're not going to beat the Patriots. I understand this. You need 30. Yeah. I understand this, but here's the point. Okay, what offense? And they played an A plus game that game. Mm -hmm. What offense? You said this, you said this, you said this before the show started. What defense? The defense line is pretty good. Do the Patriots have besides the defensive line? All right. They, they, now, they have spot all right. weaknesses. Now, 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 here's where he loses this argument. Because he says our strength is our defensive line. Our linebacker core is not that bad. Are you scared of the Jacksonville running game or the passing game? Running. And are they running on the Patriots? I think no. David Garrard can no. find some spots. I don't Patriots think so. The divisional game last year. I don't think David they Garrard threw. has what it takes. What are you talking? And even yes. if he does he, have he enough to score, Dan, he's going to score Dan, 20 points. The team doesn't scare me. David Garrard What are we saying? Me. Field goals aren't going to win games against the Patriots. I understand that. Field goals aren't going to win games against the Patriots. When I'm looking at this matchup, I see Tom Brady, Randy Moss, Wes Welker, and then I turn around and I see 
Yeah, that's right. Silence. David Garrard. <laughs> you see, a bunch of wide receivers that looked good when they were coming out of college are doing absolutely nothing in the league. Matt Jones. And I think Ready that our wins. defensive line can manhandle the offensive line of Jaguars. And I think that we will win them. I, I think we'll beat them soundly. Not even close. I don't, soundly. Dan, you say this now, but you seen an example last mm -hmm. season. Okay, now last season, let's bring it back. We were on the verge of completing an undefeated season. There was other variables to that. It wasn't just a one-on-one -on -one matchup of the Jaguars versus the Patriots. The Patriots had been undefeated, and you got that pressure mounting up game after game. How, what game did they play? How many games it into was, the season? Uh, divisional game. Yeah, so it was already the playoffs? Yes, it was. Yeah, so they had already won 16 games? That's not the point. That's Don't the point. Exactly the point. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying there was a variable Bulls. And if you put Tom Brady yes, in please. the Patriots versus David Garrard, it's not a close game. Let's move on <laughs> to the next question. Let's talk about these surprise NFL teams. Which is the which is the NFL teams you're going to say, whoa, that team surprised me. I had no idea they were that good. Okay. Which team's that? Now, it's not going to surprise a true fan who knows, but it's going to surprise all of you out there. No insults. <laughs> the Browns. The Cleveland Browns are the team that are going to surprise a lot of people this year. A lot of people don't realize that they've got a Pro Bowl quarterback. They have a great coach. Do we agree here? Romeo Cornell's yeah, excellent probably coach. the reason we didn't win the Super Bowl <laughs> because we did. We got out-coached. I'll say that here. Um, got a good running back there. Oh, let me ask this question. Did the Patriots ever win a Super Bowl without Romeo Cornell? No. 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 Uh, no. Uh, did he left after the 2004 season. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's check. Just, just bring it back a little flashback. Okay. You shouldn't have let him go. Um, got a good running back in Jamal Anderson, and you got a great receiving core. I see this as a solid, solid team that's going to surprise a lot of people in a tough division. Now, my first bet, my first, my first, my first wager, I was going to say the Washington Redskins. But there's a team in Houston, Texas that I like. Yes. yes. Or right a little Reliance Stadium. <laughs> right again, Kari. I there like to text. Kari Lewis Jern, right again. <laughs> I mean, they were 8-8. Eight and eight. Mm -hmm. They played with teams, the Jags. Yep. They split with the Jags. I don't know if they beat Indianapolis last year. It was pretty tough. Th but when mm -hmm. you got to play De when you got to play Indianapolis twice yep. a year. Yep. Jaguars. You got to go Jaguars twice a year. And the Tennessee Titans twice a year. And you come out 8-8 eight and eight as That's a big underdog. They're, they're, it's called climbing the ladder. Yes. I mean, they're getting better. Gary Kubiak, you know, he was the offensive coordinator of Denver since John Elway, since like 94. Mm -hmm. He's a head coach here calling the shots, putting that play action offense in there with Matt Schaub. Yeah. You know, they're Mario getting better. They got RJ Johnson, mm -hmm. you know, Mario Williams, D'Amico Ryan's in the Pro Bowl, Eddie Ackroyd tackles the linebacker. I mean, they're getting better. I mean, 8 and 8 last year against. And, um, for the record, where did the Colts go? The Colts went to AFC the Division round. Exactly. Where did the Jags go? AFC the Division yep. round. Yep. And they were hanging with these guys. You yep. come out of that Division 8-8, eight and, eight, and where did the Titans go? They lost in a wild card. Yep. Yeah. So they, when you go 8-8 eight and eight out of those three teams, six, I mean, I I'm, agree. Yep. I completely I, agree. I like them as a sleeper. But I got to tell you, they're going to push a 9-7, and 10-6. and six. The Washington Redskins and the NFC are also going to be fantastic. Uh. I really thought the unfortunate death of Sean Taylor <laughs> was, you know, I think that distracted them a little bit emotionally, okay? And that was a crazy season last year. That was a crazy season. But I think this year, it's a clean slate almost. You know, I mean, you put that unfortunate in, 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 in the rearview mirror and you try to move on. And I'll tell you what, I like this guy, Clinton Porter's coming back healthy. Coming back healthy, Clinton Porter's going to be fantastic. They got a nice little quarterback, Jason Campbell. And they have the best defensive end in the league, hands down, That's Jason what? Taylor. I, Kari just showed me something on paper. Can Kari please just share with them? This said, the reason why they will not be <laughs> the most surprised team, head coach. NFL experience, first season coming up right now, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Not in that division. Not in that division. What, and here's what, another. I'm, I'm he's about, not a proven I'm coach. About, I'm about the Dallas, not in that division. Besides the Dallas Cowboys? Not in that division. I think the Giants are going to take a step back. I, yeah. But, but I a step back are. for the Giants is still three steps there. ahead of Washington. Not necessarily. Yes, yes it is. They went 9-7 to Redskins. The Giants were listen, up there 10-6 over what you say, What you say distracted the Redskins, I think motivated them to overachieve. This is a team that has for the last five years continue to do phenomenal in the offseason in acquisitions and making yeah, their yeah. team better and then absolutely stunning us in the season by doing... Ah!